We've for a long time, and our recommendations have been to keep the vitamins separate from the trace minerals, just precisely for that point is, you know, the trace minerals, obviously, they will last a long time. <laughs> they're, they're rocks. They'll be there, be there longer than you and I are. But, uh, but the, the vitamins are the ones uh, uh, that we get concerned about or, or any enzymes that we may be added, uh, the phytase or if somebody puts xylanase in, those enzymes are the ones that you, you worry about when, and along with the vitamins when you put them together with the trace minerals. Uh, vitamin premixes that are by themselves even in a final mixed form, I have no problem with six months store, uh, of, of being out on, in, a, in a mill and and without having a lot of breakdown on, on the on the pure vitamins in a premix. You mix them together with trace minerals and and particularly, uh, yeah, I don't see this very much anymore. But if you put choline in there, um, in in uh, with the, those uh, vitamins, the choline pulls moisture in, and the combination with the trace minerals, it'll break down those vitamins much faster and. When I have those mixed together, I for sure want it used up within 60 days with, with the, the goal of having 30 days used up once it hits the mill. And so when you talk about having extended storage times for a biosecurity standpoint, you'd really like that to occur before those vitamins are mixed with the trace minerals.